Hello everyone, I'm Axel Throffel with Reuters. I'm delighted to be back for this uh, Entrepreneurs uh, Talk CAS uh, series. Tonight uh, we speak with Jenny Griffiths, the founder and CEO of Snap Fashion. Here's a little taster of what's to come. I run a company called SnapTech, um, which is basically a visual search technology platform. Um, so the idea is we take any content, um, any image, and turn it into a kind of lead for a product online. So our first product is Snap Fashion, so you can see literally anything you like. Um, so let's say a dress in a shop window, take a photo on your mobile phone, and then we'll find you similar things to buy online. That moment when this becomes, uh, it goes from being a, a, a passion, um, a, a, a trying to make, bring your idea alive uh, to a real business where you think this is a really, really lucrative way of making a living. I think there are a few points that you hit. So the first one is when you can actually pay yourself, which is an amazing day because I went for like two years without paying myself and living with my parents and God right. knows how they put up with me. So that's like when you feel like you're beginning to start a real business. Then you have the, oh my God, I've just employed someone and it's suddenly like you've got children. I've got like 14 <laughs> kids and I need to put food on the table and this is terrible. So you have that kind of sense. Um, I think break even was the point where we felt like we were a real business. Tell me, honestly, if, if, if it hadn't been 2009, yeah. if it had been 2006, 2007, would you have made that same decision? Are you, are you, are you blaming your decision on the crisis? <laughs> Yeah, that's quite a big blame, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that, that was the main output of the economic crisis. Uh, no, it's, I'm naturally really risk averse. Um, so to be honest, 2006, I probably would have taken the PhD offer. Mm. I think um, at the time, it's definitely beginning to change the perception of entrepreneurship, but it's not a career path. That's kind of how I always saw it. It was kind of this thing that happened to other people in California who had great ideas and mm. that kind of thing. I didn't think it would be for me. Um, and also I've got this kind of impression of what a good entrepreneur is in my head and for me I don't tick any of those boxes so it was quite a kind of big out of character leap of faith I guess. You kind of learn a lot on the job and a lot of your job ends up kind of bluffing and having a bit of a poker face to be honest in investment meetings. A number of times I'm sitting and in my notebook I'm like writing Google what this means later <laughs> on is quite impressive and um, so you kind of get used to that feeling there and it's kind of what's so addictive about running a company is you know that every day you wake up and you're just going to have to learn yeah, something yeah. new and kind of roll with the punches. Jenny Griffiths, everyone. One bit of advice I give to someone doing a startup is to know your strengths. Um, so really sit down, analyse what will make you completely different to your competition and what will make you fly. And then where are the bits that you need to kind of um, get help with your team. Um, and then that will help you build the best team around you possible.